Namaste everyone and happy full moon. I hope that you are well and that you're ready to welcome the energy of the full moon into your life. In this video, I'll be sharing with you three mudras or hand gestures that I like to practice to channel pranic energy from my hands into my body and connect to the energy of the moon two chandra mantras or moon mantras that I like to chant to connect to the positive vibrations of mother moon and to awaken my creative and intuitive energies and then one pranayam or a breathing technique that helps to channel prana through the lunar energy channel of the body. So let's start off with the mudras. Just very quick note before that, I have another video on my channel with my full moon routines. So if you would like to know more about that, please do click on the link that I have put in the description box below. Great, so let's start with the mudras. Mudras have a very deep science attached to them because the five elements that make up the body and the universe are associated with the five fingers of our hands. And through mudras, we're able to channel this pranic energy from our hands into the body and stimulate different parts of the body. The first mudra I'm going to show you is called Padma Mudra or Lotus Mudra. And this symbolizes beauty, it symbolizes purity and light. And just like the lotus flower that grows through the dark, deep pond water towards light, this helps us to stay grounded, have faith and grow towards light and let the best version of ourselves or the be most beautiful version of ourselves emerge. So for this mudra, I'm going to bring my palms to touch in Anjali Mudra or prayer gesture in front of my heart space and then keeping my pinky fingers and the thumbs connected, I'm going to open up the rest of the fingers like a flower. Bringing this Padma Mudra in front of my heart, I'm going to gently close my eyes and I love to practice mudras and say out affirmations or my intentions with them. So here I'm just going to say, I invite purity into my life, into my body, into my being, and I allow my heart to open up to the joys of life. And just holding this mudra for a few breaths, inviting calm into my mind. Whenever I'm ready, I'm going to join my palms and open my eyes. Of course, I keep the mudras for about five to 10 minutes each. But just for the sake of this video, I'm going to just demonstrate them for a few breaths, all right? The next mudra is called Shakti Mudra. Shakti is the feminine energy. So this represents the goddess of strength and of power. And this mudra also helps to channel prana into the sacral chakra or the energy center that is in our pelvic region. So it helps to soothe any uh, irritations or any tensions in this area all right so for this we're going to bring our thumbs in bend the index fingers and the middle fingers over the thumbs and then connect the pinky fingers and the ring fingers together that automatically brings the nail side of our middle and index fingers to touch all right and now I'm going to once again bring my hands in front of my heart space, close my eyes, stay completely present here, and I'm going to attach an intention or an affirmation to this. I plug in to my feminine powers. I allow creativity to flow through me. I allow prana to flow through my sacral chakra, my seat of creativity and joy. And then whenever I'm ready, I'm going to release the mudra as I open or blink my eyes to open. Good. So that was the second mudra. The third mudra is Yoni Mudra. Yoni Mudra once again is a representation of the goddess of power, of strength, of the, of the feminine energy. And Yoni literally translates into womb. So this mudra symbolizes disconnecting from the exterior world and turning the awareness inward and tuning into that creative energy within us 
to that feminine power within us. Just like the baby, when in the womb of the mother, is completely disconnected from the exterior, but still nurtured by the feminine. So for Yoni Mudra, there are two ways you can do this. The first one is to bring the index fingers and the thumbs to touch, and then bring the palms to rest on the lower belly, so where our sacral chakra is. Fingers are pointing down, thumbs are pointing towards the belly button. And once again, we close our eyes, tune into our breaths, allow the energy to flow through that sacral chakra and plug in to the feminine powers, invite creativity to flow through us and open up to the joys of life. And then whenever I'm ready, I'm going to release now I'm going to show you the second version of Yoni Mudra. So once again, I'm going to connect the tips of my index fingers and the thumbs. And this time I'm just going to bend the other fingers. So the middle ring and pinky fingers are going to bend. And then I'm going to connect the backs of the finger, those fingers together. So this is what it looks like. Okay, so I'm going to bring once again the mudra on my lower belly. So Yoni Mudra can be practiced even lying down. So if you're lying down, you make this mudra with your hands and then place your hands on top of your lower belly. And once again, invite those feminine energies to flow through you. Intuition, creativity, emotions, receptive nature. And then whenever you're ready, you release the mudra. So once again, you can practice them about five to 10 minutes. And what's really, really important is that you don't strain your hands or your facial muscles in any way. Keep your breath nice and smooth, but just keep your awareness here, in the here, in the now, in the present, and stay tuned into yourself. Great, so those were the three mudras I like to practice. Now, I'll tell you the two Chandra mantras, or the moon mantras. Now, mantras hold a lot of power, a lot of powerful vibrations that help us connect to nature and the cycles of nature. Just like Surya Namaskars or Surya Mantras help us to tune into the energies of the sun and invite those energies into our beings, the Chandra Mantras or the Moon Mantras help us to invite the energies of the moon into our beings. And the moon represents cooling energies, feminine energies, nurturing, healing energies. So we want to tune into those energies and invite them into our being. So the two mantras, I'm going to type them out in the description box below so that you can read them. And I'm just going to say them out here. So you can chant them about nine times, 27 times, 108 times, or as long as you wish to, and stay completely tuned in and focused while you're chanting them. So the first one is Om Som Somaya Namaha. So I'm going to chant it. Om Som Somaya Namaha. Om Som Somaya Namaha. So while I chant this, I'm bowing to Mother Moon and tapping into the creative powers of the moon. And the next mantra is known as the Bij mantra, or the seed mantra of uh, the moon. So that one is Om Shram Shreem Shrom Sahachandraya Namaha. I'm going to chant it. Om Shram Shreem Shrom Sahachandraya Namaha Om Shram Shreem Shrom Sahachandraya Namaha Gorgeous. So while I chant mantras, what I like to do is bring my awareness to my third eye, so in between my eyebrows, especially for Chandra Mantra, because the moon represents our intuition, our creativity, and our third eye chakra is the seat of our intuition. So it's really important that you tune in and that you stay completely aware while chanting the mantras. Good, so now we come to our pranayam or the breathing technique.
Now, I've also put a link in the description box to my other video in which I have explained the energy channels of the body, Ida and Pingala Nadi, and how that affects the flow of energy in our body. So please do have a look at that video to know more about the energy channels. In this video, I'll only be showing Chandra Bedana or inhaling through the left and exhaling through the right because the left nostril connects to the right brain hemisphere, which relates to the feminine energies. So for this, bend your index finger and the middle finger of your right hand, turn the palm toward your face, close the right nostril, and let's take a big breath in through the left nostril without straining. Close the left nostril, open the right nostril and exhale. Beautiful. We're going to repeat that. So close the right nostril, inhale through the left. Close the left nostril, open the right nostril and exhale. Good. and then release so you can practice this about 10 minutes 15 minutes um, and that helps to channel the energy of pran through the lunar energy channel and activate the uh, right brain hemisphere which is the feminine which is where our creativity our intuition sits Thank you very much for following this video. I hope that it was useful and that you found it interesting. I would love to know more from you or know more about your rituals for full moon. So please drop a comment below. Please do share this video with anybody you know who could be interested in knowing more about full moon rituals. And I wish you a beautiful and pure full moon day. Namaste.